from the Cosmopolitan Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's The Cube, covering Koopa Inspire 2019. Brought to you by Koopa. Welcome to theCUBE from Koopa Inspire 19 at the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas. It's a pretty, pretty swanky place here. Very excited to welcome to theCUBE for the first time from Accenture, Jesse Hanger, Director of Capability Network Sourcing and Procurement. Jesse, welcome. Thank you, glad to be here. Oh, our pleasure to have you. So here we are, day two of the, kind of the main stuff going on here, right. all talking about business spend management, BSM, this new category that Coupa is defining. Right. Uh, had the chance yesterday to speak with Rob Bernstein, their CEO. Mm -hmm. um, Robbie Talker was there. Right. And it's one of the cool things that Coupa is doing is it's now, it's procurement, it's invoicing, it's expenses, it's payments, but it's also helping to redefine procurement right. and finance. And it is. I mean, it's, it's a huge shift when we think about in industry. Uh, the same shift that Salesforce had years ago when it comes to CRM. When Coupa started talking about this, maybe two years ago, uh, you know, I had a little bit of a head scratcher. I saw some of their slides and I thought to myself, eh, that's a bit, it's a bit much to say you're going to change this. But the funny thing was, no one else had come up with a real definition of this. We, we finally had procurement technology that was at a level that you could capture this type of data and information, and it could go broader than just my, you know, MRP system and, and bills, of, bill, bills of materials and to everything, into your travel and expenses, into yes. how you're sourcing things, into your basic inventory. And so, you know, it took, it took me a while to come around, but uh, it's been, it's been a, it was a slow journey for me, but clearly business spend management is the future of what we look at with procurement. Because for a, for a CPO, it can't just be about saving money or reducing costs. You have to start driving business, and you can't drive business if all you do is save money. Exactly, and that's been something that I've, I've learned a lot from in the last week or so alone, is how influential a CPO can be. This right. person can be not just the money saver, it's it, shareholder value. Right. It, there's so Bottom many. Bottom line growth of the business. Yes, and one of the things that I really appreciate is Coop has done a great job the last two days of sharing the voice of the customer. Right. Because I, I said to you before we went live, I said, you know, I don't, as a marketer, I'm a little biased, but I don't think there's anything that's more brand validating than the voice of a successful customer that actually shows measurable business outcomes, and they showed that right. this morning. I was oh, just like, absolutely. that transcends any industry, whether you're manufacturing or a retailer. Yeah, and, and so when you, when you do think about it from their customer's perspective, from our client's perspective at Accenture, it, this, this is not easy, right? Some of this, changing the way you do things and changing the, your, your overall procurement operating model, it's not easy stuff. There's a reason why there are so many big companies like Accenture that do this kind of work, because it's hard right. and it's needed, right? We come in with a different perspective. Having a platform like Coupa to really initiate that transformation, to be the, to be the lever that moves the company from where they were to where they want to be and where they need to be to be competitive in the market, it's, it's an, it makes our job so much easier uh, across the broader supply chain practice to, to really not just make the change, but you know we use a big consulting word to instantiate it so that, that it stays, word. right? It's not, we don't make it better this year, we make it better moving forward. It's an evolution. It is. It but really that requires is. the right mindsets to go from a tactical role of managing budgets and things to being strategic, being able to identify fraud detection, for example. Right. Well, and, and, and again, I think that's when they talk about their sweet synergy and the fact that all of these components of the platform, right, they're not separate modules. They, they hate when we say modules, so oh, it's the T&E module. All of these components, because they are all natively integrated and, and you know, the, the data structure is the same on the back end, things like the fraud detection become easy for Coupa, not in other platforms. So having, again, the more things you are doing with Coupa, the more data you have and the more you can get the benefit from the broader ecosystem, from the you know, over $1 trillion in spend that's gone through, yes. that's fully classified, coded, detailed. Now all of that spend helps that fraud engine do a better job. 
The community that you mentioned, they were saying, I think Rob Bernstein, CEO of Coupa, said yesterday that since 2016, around the time they went public, mm -hmm. it's been a 5x increase in wow. the amount of spend being managed through the Coupa platform. Accenture has over 50 deployments of Coupa in 72 countries. You guys are, all, are also managing over 100 billion of that. Right. But this community that they described yesterday so eloquently is very collaborative, allowing not just customers to leverage from other, from peers' best practices, but suppliers as well. Talk right. to us about some of the things, like the, the wave that they're writing now in terms of this community intelligence and how is it going to help Accenture really be able to help more companies get that visibility and that control of all their spend? Right, so, so as an example, at Accenture, you know, when you look at the analyst reports, we do very well when it comes to our procurement uh, practice and the, and the spend that we're helping companies uh, manage outside of a platform. So we've got, uh, I think the latest number I saw was like $1.8 trillion that we have helped companies source in the last uh, handful of years. Wow. So that is something that gives us a huge competitive advantage. The same thing is true of Coop. And, and you said, you know, how they're riding this wave. Honestly, I don't think they're riding the wave yet. I think the wave is still building and they're about to start riding it. Okay. I think that what we're going to see over the next one to four years is going to be a fairly significant shift in how that data is going to drive very discreet and concrete value to all the members of the community. Wow, that, that is exciting. One of the things that we talk about in terms of changes to the CPO's role and CFO these are these ways of disruption. One of them is consumerization. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, I think Raja talked about that this morning. It was talked about a number of times yesterday. We right. spoke about it on the program. We're consumers all the time. Right. Whether we're getting up in the morning at a conference and going to, to buy a coffee at Starbucks or something that we want to order um, from a, a vendor like an Amazon, we have this expectation that we can get it. Or if we want to buy a car, we have all of this data that we've never had before, so empowered. Mm -hmm. But then we go to our work lives, and if we're in whatever role we're in, maybe I'm in marketing and I need to do a trip, so I've got to go and do a travel expense. Yep. We want the same ease of consumerization. Right. Your thoughts on Coupa Pay, the expansion of Coupa with open buying the AWS marketplace on, on bringing that consumerization in, do you think like, yes, that's exactly what we need? So, you know, the, f the first place of bringing in the consumerization was really how Coupa was engineered years ago. When we go back to before they had release numbers and it was, you know, fall of 2007, you know, they had numbers like that. Um, Coupa really did give you an experience that was like Amazon. It was, it was, we used to say, we're going to bring your shopping experience from Sunday afternoon to your desk Monday morning. And as that happened, now you start to see a different piece, and that is a greater uptake in terms of the usage of, the, of procurement platforms. So instead of people, it's easier to pick up the phone and call Bill over at uh, you know my supplier and say I need a case of whatever. It's actually easier to do it in the platform, and I can still give Bill a call and go have a beer with him if I you know if I want to maintain the relationship. But I don't have to make every one of my transactions start with a phone call that necessitates three additional phone calls later on to check on the status. Instead, I can do it in the platform very quickly. When you expand that out to what now Coupa Pay is going to offer, especially when we look at our clients that have challenges uh, with multiple financial systems, multiple banks that are processing their payments, as you shift it away from that multiple outlet situation and you can move a large, if not all of that, into Coupa Pay, you're streamlining things for dozens, if not you know, scores of people in your company Massively. and making it better for them. Some of the stats I saw in the press release about the amount of, of processes, payment processes that are still manual and still 40% of it by paper check. I've got one client that writes 40,000 paper checks a year. How receptive are they to digital transformation? I mean, they, they, they almost think it's too good to be true, right? When you, when you talk to clients like that, Fortune 500 companies, and when we talk to clients like that, and you tell them what you heard from Coupa 
is true. They're, they're not just selling you or trying to sell you something. They are telling you how it really works for clients, and we've seen it. You know, I, I look at the last uh, dozen or so clients I've worked with, uh, last year and a half I was doing some analysis, $51 billion, $50.8 billion in revenues is the average for those clients. Okay. So big companies, big, really, really yes. big companies. And as we look at those, you'd be surprised at how many of them have challenges with a lot of manual processes still. They're, they're the top of their field, but yeah. they still have those challenges. So bringing this to them, and as they are deploying Coupa and seeing what they can realize in terms of efficiencies, it actually makes my job really fun because everybody's going to be happy. Well, when isn't we're done. That, that is a win win. One of the things Rob said yesterday, I said, you know, I know a little bit about Rob, and one of his, some of his proudest moments are hearing clients articulate success. And he goes, one right. of my favorite things is going into, whether it's a $50 billion a year company or not, where there's someone maybe in the C suite that just is skeptical. Right. And he goes, and that just takes one champion who, who sees this vision right. to convert that person to, oh my gosh, we can have this crystal ball of visibility of everything and, and really leverage that to drive digital transformation so that the mm -hmm. business is faster to identify new products, new revenues, convert customers faster, increase customer lifetime value, and, and, and the impact there is exponential. Well, and that's one of the reasons why I think our partnership with Coupa is so rich is because Accenture is more a technology company. You know, we're not just focused on accounting. We're not just focused on finance. We have a lot of technology uh, resources we usually have a lot of connection into the CIO and, and the IT suite of, of uh, you know, leadership. They're the ones that are typically the most skeptical, right? They've been through dozens of rollouts of <laughs> yeah. different things and they've seen them go anywhere from 0% to 50% effective. So because we've got the relationships there and we can have these conversations with CIO and say this is different. This this is a very going to be a very different kind of program for you and we're you know, we're we're coming in and telling you that we can work this together as your partner and be successful. And and again, you get six months into it, and uh, and the light the light's fully on at that point, and they're on board. And so, in fact, next year we're we're looking forward to bringing uh, one or two CIOs on stage with us at uh, Inspire 20 to talk about it from an IT perspective. Awesome. Well, I look forward to hearing that, Jesse. Thank you so much for Absolutely. joining me on the Cube this afternoon. Exciting stuff. Control, visibility, who doesn't want that? Exactly. Right? It's good times. Excellent, thanks Jesse, Thank appreciate you. it. appreciate being here. For Jesse Hanger, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE from Coupa Inspire 19. Thanks for watching.